Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fifth episode of the YouTube Business Academy podcast. In this podcast today, we're going to talk about a couple of different things which might be of interest to you if you are into making money on YouTube and starting a business on YouTube or running an existing business on YouTube, which is this whole academy is about. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure to click the first thing down in description and join our Discord. Today, however, we are going to be talking about, so we just recently did a group coaching with some of our members who joined the YouTube Academy business um, uh, mastermind and the group coaching. And so we talked a lot about YouTube shorts. So Ron is going to recap a little bit about that. We also did recently a poll in our discord asking you guys who are members of our discord, what are you most interested in? Are you interested most in shorts search or browse? And the results were very interesting. So we're going to touch a little bit on that later on as well. And then lastly, because of a lot of demand, and I think I'm giving away a little bit here, but we're yeah. gonna we're gonna talk a lot more about search. We're gonna I'm gonna give an update on my channel. Ron is gonna give an update on his channel. So with this long winded intro, sit back, relax, let's listen, and I pass the trophy to Ron. Yes. Very good. Let's go. Yeah, exciting podcast uh, again. And indeed, we just finished group coaching, I think like uh, 30 minutes ago. The first group coaching of the YouTube Shorts Acceleration Program. It went really well. Everyone found their niche. Uh, they're now on to finding the right freelancer for their uh, for their channel, basically. Um, so very exciting stuff coming up. And hopefully next week we can start public publishing shorts and raking those views in. So I'm really looking forward to that as well. And yeah, we have a very, very nice group and uh, everyone's excited. So we, of course, will share the channel of the results in the Discord channel. Um, also, we still have Halim, uh, our free community member that's currently also in the process of finding a freelancer. We're recording everything with him since that's the case study we're doing. So you can find that as well within our program later on. And it's looking good for him as well. He also found, found a good niche. So let's get him the results and the views and the subscribers as well. So exciting things coming up as george mentioned indeed we did a poll like three days ago no monday two days ago as of the recording right now uh, asking the community what everyone is mostly interested in and out of the like we had three options like george mentioned shorts um, youtube search and basically browse content um, and it looks like a lot of people are interested in search based content let me get the numbers in here how many people voted? Uh, let me check. I think like 33 uh, for search. search. Yeah, we did a 15 for shorts, 32 for sh search and 24 for browse. So as we can, we can c c get from that, basically most people are interested in search, which of course is understandable because search is one of the most like continuous way or like long-term, like the perfect way to build a long-term business. And it's very, um, like f how do you, I, I forgot the word consistent like it's consistent exactly it's a very consistent way of getting your views on youtube you're not dependent on the algorithm um pushing your content out to more and more people you don't have as big of spikes in views you still of course can hit like make search based content that a lot of people will search on um, but in the end like we can see it on our channel, but we'll talk about it later. Your your views will increase nicely over time, every day, every day, every week. And if you continue uploading for months or years, you can basically stop uploading, have no costs anymore, but still rake in the views because people are still looking for your content on YouTube. So I can understand why a lot of people voted for it. So let's talk about our journey since George, we are both also uh, we are all, we all both have a channel that's in search. So how's it going for you uh, at the moment? Yeah, so you know I've been uh, doing a personal brand channel on YouTube for the past almost three years now, and uh, you know I've have I'm close to five thousand subscribers, and I tried different types of content. Right, I was experimenting a lot, and what really worked for me is search. That's if you look at my analytics, if we sit down and you see what is bringing in the views, what is bringing in the money, what is bringing in the subscribers, 90% of that, maybe even more, is all coming from search. So, 
you know, I have a video on my channel, which is how to drop ship on Amazon. And I made that video two years ago. I talk a lot about it because it's like my favorite example. The RPM CPM is crazy. It's like, I think the CPM is like over hundred euros or something. The RPM is probably like 80 or something. Oh no, not 80, 50 or something, right? It's half 50, 60. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, um, and I made that video, right? And the, the keyword that I'm ranking for is Amazon dropshipping, right? How to dropship on Amazon. And um, that video up until this day is bringing in views and money, man. It is so consistent. So I am a very big fan and advocate of search uh, content. I've been, I've been experimenting. I've been trying to make content for browse and recommend it, right? To, to get my video pushed uh, on the homepage. But to be honest with you, it's such a tough game that like no matter what I tried, I think the the my best results was with an was with an interview with Yuri, but even then, like I lev we I leveraged his name and it was a different style format of a video. So I think that's why it works as well. And then my other best performing video was a video of me um breaking down my two thousand dollar mistake with YouTube automation, which I recorded after our first ever uh, talk uh, we did on Google Meet. But yeah, you know, lately, like Ron and I, we've, we've been talking a lot about YouTube Shorts f for the fact that it is a really big opportunity coming up, right? And that's a single reason why we've really been like talking a lot about it because what's gonna happen in 2023, and it's not just us talking about it, it's also like all the big YouTubers, like Mr. Beast himself, like we, we shared that earlier on, you know, he, he was talking about how it's going to be like, people are sleeping on it, it's a big opportunity and stuff. So um, that's why we were like pushing that because we think a lot of people can benefit from that. But at the same time, like after doing the poll, and I kind of got this insight, I don't know from where, but I was like, hey, let's do a, a poll on, on Discord and ask like, what are our members really interested in? And it turns out that like a lot of you guys are interested in search and I completely understand that because it is like, it's also one of my favorite ways to do traffic, honestly. Like I can confidently say that I know how to do search, right? I'm not the best at it, right? I always try to be kind of humble myself down because I know there's people who are much better, but I can confidently say that, you know, I can start up a search channel right now and I can start making videos that are going to be ranking. I know how to find keywords. I know how to structure a video in a way that it provides enough value for the end viewer that he finds it valuable and it starts ranking because it all really comes down to that at the end of the day. If the end, don't think about the algorithm, right? Whenever you think about the algorithm, like Mr. B says, replace that with audience, right? So whenever people search for something specifically, that's what search traffic is, right? You wanna make sure that you answer their requests, whatever they're searching for, right? Um, which phone is better, iPhone or Samsung, right? If you make a really good video that is really valuable to the end user and you cover all the points that he has in mind or maybe he, or maybe even cover the points that he doesn't know he's thinking about, then that video has a really high chance of ranking, right? And I, I'm, I'm gonna release a video now if you guys are listening or watching to this. By the way, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to join us on Discord, the best YouTube community out there and we promise it's going to be the biggest ever and everyone who doesn't believe us just watch i promise but anyway i'm gonna release a video on my channel now where i basically break down a little update about my channel so it's it's already live if you are watching this or listening so go check it out um, but for those of you who are listening right now or watching, I just want to give a little update. So I started this channel back in June. I started with the make money online niche, aiming for browse. The value, the, the value was in education, right? So I was educating people, watching it about how different ways and strategies to make money online. But the tactics and the ways themselves were really low quality, like really low value. So, and they were like repeated many times. Some of them didn't even work. So it was like really shady stuff and stuff. So like that's, that explains why I was spending a lot of money and getting no traction back. Right. Then what I did was I was like, okay, I took a step back and I was like, let me reevaluate what's going on here. And 
that's when I started getting into contact with Ron, with Hessel, with Yuri, with different guys from the industry, right? With Marcel, we started talking, bouncing ideas. I started learning from them. And that's when it really kind of clicked in me. Like, ah, wait a second. I've been doing this whole thing for the past two years myself. I've been making like these tutorials myself, but on different subjects, but with a personal brand, right? With a face. But I can do the same thing without my face and actually get someone else to do that, right? And I can just make it better than other people, provide greater value. And guess what? Video ranks in search. And every time someone clicks, I make a little penny. Every time they click, I make a little penny. And then I can take a step forward. I can make a video comparing two different project management software, softwares. And then I can, and then I can have a call to action in my video saying, if you want this software, there's a link for that in the description. Or if you want this, pff, no problemo, there's also a link in the description. Click it, whatever you click, one or two, I'm gonna get a commission, right? So it really just comes down to how strategic you are with your content. Think about, I'm going on a real big rant here. <laughs> but fine. every video, think of it strategically as this little seed that can, like if you plant it right, it can grow under the right conditions and that can, like one video, I was talking to myself, one video generated like 20 or 30 euros in um, AdSense, but generated him like an additional 600 euros just from affiliate commissions as well. And later on, we're going to bring on, a, you know, Marcel as well, because he's a really valuable member of our community. Um, I'm sure we're going to collaborate more on some, on some, uh, some modules in the YBA um, paid, uh, paid courses as well. But yeah, that's basically what it is. You know, I'm a really big fan of search. And um, if you are too, hey, let's be friends. <laughs> Ron, what Very do you good. think? Yeah, but, but I agree. And like I rebranded the channel about a month ago. Uh, I hired two freelancers to make the how-to content, do the voiceover, do the, the editing themselves. Um, basically, you, you're looking for search ter terms that people are looking for. People have certain problems that they need to have fixed. And you need to be the one that's fixing the problem and th that's how it is and you can do it basically on, on like there are so many problems in the world that people are looking for on the internet so you can basically make a video about literally anything um so i started like two like a month ago even um hiring two freelancers um and one uploader and i can see like the views like you in youtube analytics you can see the views every 48 hours I can see the views almost increasing like a hundred every every day per 48 hours. So it's going really, really fast. And especially if you're uploading uh, video topics or like videos that with specific topics that are not like, uh, th that are not many videos off. So you're one of the few and you will easily outrank everybody. Um, you can get a lot of views pretty quickly. And also like when there are certain new updates about maybe software or, or your iPhone is going to iOS 16, there are new features in your iPhone. If you're the one making a video before it's going to release, the iOS update is being released, a lot of people will search for it and you will get a lot of views. The only downside is it's maybe not as evergreen, but probably in two years when iOS 17 is out, not many people will look for it, but you will have a huge spike uh, on your views and to make the video, it's not that much of an effort. So I'm slowly seeing my channel grow every, every day, like with 100 views every 48 hours and I will just continue uploading and like if I do this for a year, I can basically stop and have like a full-time income from just one channel. And cash if I compare machine, it, baby. Yeah, it's literally a cash machine, and especially if you have like more evergreen pro problems, people will keep looking for it. And if I compare it to my other two uh, browse channels, it's way easier because with browse, you need to think of a very good hook, a very good title. You need to have an appealing thumbnail. It needs to match, match perfectly. And then you can see YouTube is not pushing your videos as much. So you will try a different thumbnail and a different title. And you keep experimenting. Of course, when, when you hit their sweet spot and YouTube pushes you a little bit more, it's an amazing feeling. But you're so dependent on the YouTube algorithm. While with search is you're making things people are looking for. So eventually they will end up especially if you make, if you provide a good solution. So at the moment, I'm really liking the search channel because the, the growth is so consistent that you, you, you just know if you spend the money on making the videos, you know it will return eventually because you can always stop investing in the channel and you can always get your investment back. So 
I really like it and I'm, I'm pushing it pretty hard right now. So, uh, yeah. I'm sitting right now at about 500 views consistently every 48 hours and my RPM is about five, six euros average. Um, some videos get more, some videos get less, but basically I calculated and I, and I spend about $200 per week, which equates to about 70 videos uh, per week that I upload, right? And I got, okay, so here's simple math. I got to 500 in a matter of like two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. So I need to, if I continue doing what I'm doing now and it continues at this rate, I need to 10X, I need to get to 5,000 views every 48 hours to break even my weekly costs. So if it took me two weeks to get to 500 and I need 5,000, 10X, that means 20 weeks. So in 20 weeks, which is five months of doing this, what I'm doing now, I'm gonna get to a break even point. You Maybe, can stop investing if you want. Yeah, you can stop. and then if I want, I can stop investing and then it's just going to be consistent cash machine, really, right? But I ain't stopping there. Your boy ain't stopping there. I'm gonna reinvest, reinvest, and reinvest, right? Because that's the only way to go. But that's what it is. There is a, there's literally a break-even point where your channel starts to generate more than what you are investing. So every new video you're adding, it's literally just like a profit, 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 profit. And then... If you register your company somewhere like in Dubai, you know, you can save a lot of tax as well. But that's for a different time, a different story. Hey, that's a, that's a whole different topic. But you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm loving search, man. I'm loving search for sure. Yeah, me too. And it's, it's also, it's pretty easy to outsource everything. Like at the moment, I'm doing the topic research because like the topics are quite important. That's the um, hardest part of it. It's the hardest and the most boring part because you really need to sit down, think of a unique angle or a unique, yeah, you need to think of, okay, what what kind of problems people can have? And of course you have different kind of tools like answer the public, you can search in the YouTube bar what people are looking for. You can of course look on Google and that's like the, 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 the process that's taking the longest. However, like I, once a week I do it for like three or four hours and make a list in, uh, in Google Sheets and I get like uh, 80, 80 or 100 topics and that's enough for the week. Um, so it's it's basically if you have like one session every week for, for, of three hours, you're fine as well. Um, but yeah, sometimes it, it can be a, be a little bit tough to find the topics. But once you found like a specific angle or a specific product or a specific, uh, for example, the iOS 16. But iOS 16, if, if they're... Up, like doing more features they don't upgrade one feature they'll do like many things so if you find like one thing you can probably make more videos out of the same topic so then it goes pretty fast but overall it's pretty easy to maintain and grow niche it depends a little bit of course um yeah what kind of topics you uh, you cover like if it's highly technical for example um, uh, for example, WordPress or page uh, page builders are not so difficult, but Shopify integrations maybe that that could be a niche with with very high CPM, or uh, I don't know anything that includes programming. It can be tough to find like a freelancer, but maybe it's still worth it because the CPM is higher. Yeah, but yeah. also remember what Elon Musk said: you get paid in direct proportion to the difficulty of the problem you yeah. solve. The harder the problem you solve the more you will get paid. You solve an easy problem that anyone can, can fix. Well, how much value are you adding to the society? Exactly. But that's like in terms of your budget. Yeah. Like if you're looking to start a search based uh, channel. Um, yeah, try to uh, like the, the, the thing is, by the way, if you have certain topics that, li that, that need more technical skills, there will also be less competition. So you, you might spend more, but in the end you get more CPM and you get e the ranking will also be easier. Yeah. So yeah, it depends a little bit on your, on your budget. If if the if my channel is slowly running to a, to a profit, I will invest more in the channel as well and explore more topics that need like deeper knowledge um, to stay ahead of the curve, you know. But yeah, I, I'm liking it very much. And uh, yeah, since the the community is also very interested in search, um, we will elaborate a little bit more on. Uh, on it as well and uh, as you probably already know uh, the whole community itself the discord channel got split up in different areas 
Oh yeah. Um, so we now also have a dedicated search area or department, dedicated short department, and also for browse. So we will be, we will be sharing there uh, more information as well about about short search and browse as well. So it's pretty exciting. We're slowly like expanding, getting more experts in. So everyone can get the knowledge they need within the community, even if they're like doing any of these three uh, elements. And hopefully we can uh, expand more in the future, of course. Imagine how much just one person can do having a computer and a microphone. If he starts just doing it himself in his bedroom, just like Hessel did, and all he needs to do, all he needs to have is just a lot of drive and hunger to actually yep. do it himself. I mean, there is so much one person can really achieve. It's it's incredible, really. I mean, now with the whole, like, this YouTube thing and that you can get paid making videos, you don't need to show your face, and you can literally just have a laptop, have a microphone, you learn something. Man, if I'd be, if I, if I'd be a young kid right now, and I didn't have anything, I'd be going to school. You're saying you're old right now, right? I am pretty old. I'm getting <laughs> old, you know. But like, if I'd be a li like, if I'd be a kid, like young, like okay, let's say I'm 16, 18, whatever, I'm still going to school, maybe, right? I don't have many responsibilities in life, you know. Maybe I just kind of enjoy spending time by myself. Like, I would just spend that time doing tutorials, man. I would just spend that time that time making videos for search because in a very little amount of time, you can make an income where you will never need to work. You will never yeah. need to find a job. You, will, you won't need to um, conform to the rules of the society where you graduate, you finish school, and then you need to go to college, and then you need to, after college, find a job, and then you need to, you know, hate the job, look for a Friday, just to kind of pay your bills and everything. Like, it's crazy, you know? Like, look what Hessel did as well. Like, he built a, a 5K per month consistent profit doing exactly that. But, yeah, but, but it, he it worked. Yeah, he yeah. worked his ass off. I ain't saying this easy. I'm saying he posted 800 tutorials himself. So, the question to you is, listening or watching this is like, are you willing to do that? Are you willing to do six, 800, or even maybe a thousand tutorials, right? Learning how to do keyword research. But what's the flip side of that? Well, the flip side is you're going to be a free man or a free woman. Yes, yeah, long, long-term long mindset you need to have. You know, you are not going to be a slave to the society. Like that's Kanye talk right there. <laughs> yeah. nah, but still like YouTube can be a, a vehicle for a lot of people to grow income, uh, to build an audience that you can monetize. In my opinion, it's the best traffic source online organic, period. I In agree. Instagram I sucks. TikTok sucks. Everything sucks. YouTube the is the thing best. Is, yeah, pe people get more engaged with you on YouTube, especially if you're a personal brand. People, it feels like for people that, that they know you, um, and people like it's much easier to, for example, if you have an audience on YouTube, you can grow your audience on, like you can get followers on Instagram and TikTok when you're big on YouTube, but it's not the other way around a lot of times. So that's pretty interesting. But yeah, I agree. Like if you're uh, if you don't know what to do, but you want to start with YouTube. Do search-based content because that's the guarantee you will get views. So it's basically a very beginner-friendly uh, niche to go into. You don't really need to learn how the art of making videos. No. You don't need to learn how to make titles, make thumbnails, hook a hook a, 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 a viewer with your um, with your intro, right? How to tell a story. All of those components, each one that I, that I just named like retain an audience, like it took Mr. Beast 12 years obsessing relentlessly, right? To get to be like the one, like no one is at his level. So it's, it's so like, but on the flip side, search is like problem, solution, problem, solution, right? Yeah. You, you don't, you don't need fancy editing. You don't need fancy nothing. You literally need to solve you need to find a problem that is not that competitive or where you can improve and you need to make a solution to it. 
that's it. And you're going to get paid. That's it. Yeah. Basically, it's, it's pretty simple. And the so, harder uh, the problem you solve, the more money you're going to get paid. Yeah. Remember that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So face, I agree. face difficult things. So I think it's good we'll uh, keep the community updated with our uh, search based channel. Yeah, boy. Like they know right now how, how many views we have, uh, how many views we are gaining. Yeah. So we can slowly uh, l let you all know in a month yeah. what the increase will be. And I can all let you know if you're listening, it will be a steady increase every, every day, every month, or every week even. Um, yeah, like a train. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but the train is not stopping. That's search-based content. You will nah. always get the views. And the that's, train uh, never stops. That's very interesting. So I also want to uh, ask the viewer of the listener or the viewer, of course, if you have any suggestions of things we need to cover as well in the podcast or uh, in, during the mastermind, please let us know. If you want to know more about search-based, uh, ask us as well because we can cover it since we're in the process ourselves. Yeah. Um, so you, yeah, very you, exciting things. All uh, you guys, yeah. let us know. You know, right in the community, like as you can see, like we do this, we do this stuff consistently, right? Like just, just let us know, engage, interact with us. Let us know your questions. What exactly you want to go a little bit more in depth? You know, we we read, we watch, we reply. Um, you know, we started this community community initially because we wanted to find like minded people and unite and. You know, one of the biggest things that Ron and I talk about is feeling lonely going through this entrepreneurial journey. I mean, I was these past five, six years that I'm doing this entrepreneurial journey. I thought I was going crazy, yeah. but I wasn't. I was just trying to do my thing and I didn't have like minded people around me. Now that I'm kind of like starting to find like my like my quality of life improved dramatically. So. Yeah, Especially with the masterminds and talking about the mastermind as of the recording tomorrow, we have a very big one with Yuri. But if you're listening right now, it's, it's, it's in the past. It's, it's already finished, but I'm sure it will be shared in the community. We will have Yuri as a guest, which is basically uh, the search based content god of uh, YouTube automation. Um, so he will share all his tips and insights and answer your questions, or he already did it. Um, so if you're interested in search-based content, check out the third mastermind um, or the fourth, the third, right? Uh, I don't know, but it went amazing. The, <laughs> check the third, the mastermind with Yuri out because it's also uh, filled with search-based tips. Yeah, that's going to be super cool as well. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. right, so I think uh, that's a pretty good place to uh, wrap it up. Yes. I so um, as usual, thank you guys for watching, listening subscribing and on this note we're gonna see you next week bye bye, -bye.